When you're on the dealer portal, there are a couple of different areas that you can go in to search for parts. Uh, this is the master search area. You can place the HIN number or the engine serial number or the trailer number there, hit search, and it will pull up information. You can also go down to the master boat search area here and do the same thing. So we're going to go in, select a HIN number, and hit search. It will take a moment for the system to go through and pull the specific information up on the boat. Now when you're on this page, for parts you're going to want to go over to the right hand side and you'll see BOM. Click on that and it will open up the bill of materials in a new window. As you can see, we've got our list of available parts for this boat here. Type in a simple one word search term. In this case, we're looking for an actuator. Hit search and it pulls up all the information that we're looking for that matches that term. You can take copy your part number. If you can order on the portal, you can even add it to your cart here. Now we'll search for another term. Okay, now here we found our fuel pump. You'll notice we have a part number, but we also have a note in red. You need to pay attention to these notes because it gives you important information about the parts. In this case, this is what you need to order. So now we'll go back to our previous page. We'll go to our parts search. And we'll select general inventory in this case. We'll paste our part number here. And then we'll hit search. And as you can see, it found our part. So we'll select the part, click Add to Cart. You'll notice the quantity available in the different warehouses. Now, you'll want to go through and change the number here to what you want to order, hit update, and then if you're ready to place your order, you'll click update my cart and begin the order process. You need to type in a PO number for your dealership. If we want to search for another part, we can do so here. And that's a good example of how multi word, etc., searches don't work very well. Look, we pulled up another part. But this part is not available to order, so we can't add it to the cart. Notice over on the right hand side, though, there's a link that says image. You can click on that and pull up a picture of the part if we have it in the system. If we click this button, we can proceed with our order. Now we're on the checkout page. So we'll go in here, select our payment method our destination, or shipping preference, pardon me, and the speed in which we want our parts shipped. Now we'll select our shipping address here, and this will be addresses that are stored in the system. We can see everything that is on the order. Now pay attention to the notes section down here. This is internal notes for your dealership only. 
whenever you order parts on the portal, these notes are not sent to us with the parts order. This is just for in case you need a reminder about what an order was for, things along those lines. You can save an order to come back and work on it later if you need to. This button will go ahead and place your order. And then this button, you can cancel the order if you wish. And here you can download a report of what you've ordered and all the order details. Anytime you have placed an order on the portal, you will get an email confirmation of this with the report attached as well. Now let's look at some other ways to search for parts. General inventory, specific boat, warranty order, and then the model year specific search. This is handy for those times that you do not have a HIN number for the boat you need a part for. Select your year and model of boat and then click on filter. Give it a little time to populate. And then you can use the same search method that we used in the previous examples to be able to find the parts you're looking for. Now it is important to keep one thing in mind here. This is only going to help you if you're looking for a generic type part that would have been used on all different models of that boat during that year. You won't be able to find specific parts related to just that boat. A good example would be decals that would have only been used on that boat because of the order that was placed. These change based off of specific options. On every one of these pages, you do have the option to go back and use the other search methods. As always, pay close attention to the notes in red in the part descriptions.